In this video, we're going to learn about two-factor interactions in statistically designed experiments. And so let's start with an example. Let's say I'm a farmer, and I'm trying to grow peppers here on the right. But I don't really know what I'm doing, so I want to make an, I want to make an experiment. So, uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing. In this video, we're going to learn about two-factor interactions in statistically designed experiments. And let's start with an example. So let's say I'm a farmer, and I'm trying to grow peppers, and my goal is to grow as many peppers as I can out of a given plot of land. So the response that I'm interested in from my plant is the number of peppers that I grow. And there's a few different things I could vary about how I treat this plant if I want to do an experiment. Uh, let's say that we're going to use, let's say that two in particular are pretty easy to try. The amount of sunlight that the plant gets and the amount of water that I give it. And so we're going to set up an experiment with two factors, and we're gonna start with the full factorial experiment because this is a relatively small number of factors. So say this axis is sunlight and this axis is water. And the points on this graph are going to represent the different experiments we're going to do. So for sunlight, we're going to have a high value of sunlight so this might be full sun, for example, and a low value, so maybe this is partial shade. And then for water, we're going to have a high value of water, so maybe I'm just dumping gallons on this pepper plant, and then a low value of water, so maybe I, I use some drip irrigation or something. And so these are the four different experiments that I'm going to carry out. And so let's say that I do that experiment, and I end up with these results. So for this condition up here, I grow, my, my plant manages to grow two peppers. In this condition, it manages to grow 10. Over here where we've got both low water and low sunlight, we manage to grow, let's say, eight peppers. And here with high sunlight and low water, we manage to only grow three. And so how do I figure out what's going on here? How do I figure out what the effect of water is and what the effect of sunlight is? Uh, well, previously we learned that we could calculate the main effect for a particular variable. So for example, the main effect of water by subtracting the average of the low amount of water from the average from the high amount of water. And in this case, we get 0.5 peppers we can also calculate the main effect of sunlight by, again, doing the same thing, subtracting the low average value of sunlight from the high average value of sunlight. And if I do that, then I get, what is this, 13 minus 10, about 1.5 peppers. But neither of these main effects, these independent effects, appear to be capturing the pretty dramatic differences in this plot. So we're not, we're, we're missing something. We're not getting at everything that we want to be getting at. So this is a classic example of what we call an interaction effect, or in particular, a two-factor interaction, because there's two factors involved here, interaction effect. So the amount of peppers that we grow depends not independently on water or independently on sunlight, but on some combination of the two. And so the way that we characterize this interaction effect or this two-factor interaction in this experiment is that we, subt we subtract or we take the average of when the two factors vary together and subtract the average of when they vary apart from each other. So we take, if we want to calculate our I'll call it an interaction effect of water and sunlight. We take the average of our, when they vary together, so eight peppers plus 10 peppers divided by two, and then we subtract the average of when the two factors vary differently. So two peppers plus three peppers divided by two. And if we calculate that, looks like we get 18 over two, so nine, 
minus 5 over 2, 2.5, or 6.5 peppers. And so this is dramatically larger than our main effects that we computed previously of 0.5 and 1.5 peppers. And it should be because this experiment has a pretty dramatic difference in the four experimental conditions. And interaction effects happen all the time. So in this case, uh, we might expect them to happen because maybe if I give my peppers a large amount of sunlight, if I don't give them enough water, which is this case here, then maybe they'll burn. But if I do give them enough water, then they can take advantage of the sunlight to grow. And similarly, maybe if I give them too much water, but not enough sunlight, they drown. But if I give them a low amount of water and sunlight, they're not growing quite as well as they did with a high amount of water, but at least they're not drowning, as in this case, or they're not burning, as in this case. So this is a, a great example of a two-factor interaction. So when two factors don't just have independent effects, but they depend on each other. One way of seeing these interactions is with what's called an interaction plot. So let's say I plot the number of peppers I manage to grow on the y-axis. And then let's say I plot my, the amount of water that I give on the y-axis. And so let's say we're, so we had a low amount of water and a high amount of water. And let's plot the values of this experiment for the case first of a low amount of sunlight. So we, for a low amount of sunlight, we managed to grow low amount of sunlight and a low amount of water, we managed to grow eight peppers. So up here, let's say we, we managed to grow eight peppers. And for a high amount of water and a low amount of sunlight, we managed to grow two peppers. So eight and two. And so this curve is for a low amount of sunlight. And similarly, when we had a low amount of water and a high amount of sunlight, we managed to go th grow three peppers, which is this point right here. And with a high amount of water and a high amount of sunlight, we managed to grow 10, which is up here. And so here we have what's called an interaction plot, which gives us, which plots the amount of one variable and the amount of another variable along with the, our response that we're interested in. So we can see this is sort of classic for a, a two-factor interaction when one the this sort of x shape because when one factor is low and the other is high we get a low response when both are high we get a high response when one is low or when both are low we get a high response and when one is low and one is high we get a low response and the the x could be flipped so we could we could go the other direction um, but this sort of shape is absolutely classic for a two-factor interaction and you might also ask, well, how do we model this effect mathematically? Or how do we incorporate it into a model? And the answer is, we use a term, so say y is my response, so the number of peppers I grow, and beta is some coefficient, it's just a constant. We model this with a term that looks something like this. So x1 here might be our water variable if it's demeaned and normalized, and x2 might be our sunlight variable. But in a two-factor interaction term, the two are multiplied together. And this beta, this is our coefficient that determines how strong the interaction is. And usually this beta will be one of many coefficients in a linear model. In, or, or a nonlinear model even. In this case, beta is related to this number that we calculated here, 6.5 peppers. Um, so if x1 takes the value of minus one and one, where minus one will mean low and one means high, both for water and sunlight, then beta would actually be 3.25 or 6.5 over two. 
But in general, it's not super straightforward to calculate, especially for more complex experiments with perhaps multiple levels. So in general, we use something like least squares regression to figure out this value of beta. Finally, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated, and it is you who makes these videos possible. If you aren't currently a patron, to get early video access, behind-the-scenes footage, exclusive content, and join a like-minded community, click the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks for watching.